Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Behind Food. In this video, we are going to discuss about browning reactions. Browning reactions occurs very widely in food material. The colors produced range from pale yellow to dark brown or black, depending upon the type of product and extent of reaction. In some food, browning is considered desirable. Example, honey, chocolate, brown crust of baked products, etc. While in other food, it is not desirable, as in darkening of dehydrated fruits and vegetables. Now, browning reactions may be either enzymatic or non-enzymatic. Many of browning reactions are seen in fruits and vegetables involve the oxidation of polyphenolic compounds by oxidative enzymes in plant cell. The non-enzymatic browning reaction frequently involve sugar and sugar related compounds. Let's first discuss about enzymatic browning. Many fruits and vegetables have a tendency to turn brown when damaged or when cut surfaces are exposed to air. Example, apple, banana, potatoes. This is due to the enzymatic reaction. Now, the formation of brown color is due to the action of enzyme phenolase or phenolic substances. Normally, the phenolic substrates are separated from phenolase in intact tissues and browning does not occur. But when food containing such substrates are cut and exposed to air, rapid browning of cut surface take place. Here you can see that we have polyphenols in the cell and oxygen in the air. Now, this is oxidase and it convert into the brown color. Now, the enzymatic browning is due to the oxidation of phenols to orthoguinone, which is in turn rapidly polymerized to form a melanin. Melanin is brown pigment. When the substrate is a phenol, it is first converted into hydrolyzation into orthodiphenol and then oxidized to orthoguinone. Some fruits do not contain these enzymes and do not darken on exposure of cut surface to air. Example, orange, lemon, grapefruit, strawberry, tomato, etc. They seem to be free from these enzymes. Melanin formation is undesirable during the processing of fruits and vegetables. Pigment formation can be eliminated by inhibiting enzyme action. Heat treatment, addition of sulfur dioxide or sulfites and ascorbic acids are commonly used methods for inactivating these enzymes. Both sulfur dioxide and ascorbic acids are strong reducing agent. What they do? They consume oxygen and destroy the browning activity of enzyme and either of them may be added to products that tend to darken. Let's discuss about non-enzymatic browning. So this type of browning is responsible for the color and flavor of food. Roasting of potato like toasting of biscuit and baking of bread and cake. They produce a golden brown color. So sometimes this reaction produces a desirable flavor. Because it does not involve enzyme, it is distinguished from the enzymatic browning by being termed non-enzymatic browning. The presence of active reducing sugar is responsible for browning in foods. On heating, the sugar undergo ring opening, enolization, dehydration and fragmentation. The unsaturated carbonyl compounds that are formed react to produce polymers and flavor compounds. Heat induced browning reactions can be divided into two groups, Maillard reaction and caramelization. Maillard reaction. Maillard reaction also known as Maillard browning is a color, flavor, odor and sometimes texture change which result from a chemical reaction between protein and carbohydrates. It is named after the Frenchman Maillard who discovered it. The Maillard reaction denotes a group of many complex reactions between nitrogenous compound of sugar, nitrogenous compounds and organic acid, sugar and organic acid and among organic acid themselves. The carbonyl group of acyclic sugar readily combined with the basic amino group of protein, peptide and amino acid resulting in sugar amines. It has been found that histidine, theoranin, phenylalanine, 
tryptophan and lysine are the most active amino acids so first we have sugar plus amino acid or protein it get convert into complex of sugar and amino group then it make colorless intermediate and we have brown compound and a flavoring substance Millard reaction is responsible for the desirable browning of most heated foods such as bread crust roast meats and roasted coffee beans this browning is accelerated by heat and occur very quickly in ovens slowly at room temperature and very slowly at refrigerator temperatures next is caramelization sugar in drying condition when heated beyond their melting point decompose and form a brown mass known as caramel which has a bitter astringent taste the process of caramelization occur at higher temperature while millard reaction develop brown color at low temperature with the use of suitable catalyst it is possible to carry out caramelization to provide either flavoring or coloring caramel for food use browning may also be due to metallic contamination mainly by iron and copper salt the tannin in fruits and vegetable react with the iron of tin plate to form ferric tannate which is black in color and spoil the appearance so this is all about browning reactions if you like this video subscribe to my channel and share with your friends